Welcome back guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Linux Lite as part of our uh, Windows Alternative series. Now if you're moving from Windows, <clears throat> Linux Lite is often mentioned as an excellent uh, distribution <clears throat> to uh, facilitate your transition from Windows into Linux. Just coincidentally, um, Linux Lite released an update or a new beta, 3.2 beta, with a few new um, features. Now, there is a feature called Lite Desktop Widget. We'll take a look at that once we go through the step-by-step -step install. Uh, and so evidently, there are some instructions here on how to enable that. So we'll take a look at that. In the meantime, I do have uh, the Linux Lite installer running in a virtual box. Um, I'm also running that Firefox window within that virtual box. Firefox does come standard with Linux Lite. There are, <clears throat> when you first boot up after you create your USB and you boot up with that USB, uh, you'll be looking at this screen. This is the uh, desktop of Linux Lite and this is where you'll do the install. Now as you can see the welcome screen has several features. Uh, you can install updates and drivers, you can upgrade software, they have a list of hardware recommendations, lots of support within Linux Lite. They have a help manual which is second to none and that takes you through every aspect of the operating system. Uh, and of course you have the ability to donate which I recommend um, the distributions can't stay afloat without contributions from the users. Now, once you try Linux Lite, if you decide you're going to use it on, a, on an ongoing basis, um, you know, it wouldn't hurt to donate a couple bucks uh, just to uh, help Linux Lite. It does two things. It sends a message to Linux Lite that you enjoy what they're doing and you want them to continue and the the money that you donate to any Linux distribution and pick the one that you'd like or, or pick several if you run multiple like I do and make a contribution uh, so that they can stay afloat and they can st they can continue to produce uh, excellent Linux distributions so what we're going to do is we're going to get on with the install now this is a typical Linux install this is Ubuntu based, it uses the XFCE desktop environment. Uh, we're going to go through the install and then we'll take a, a look at a couple of features in the new Linux Lite. So we're going to minimize the welcome screen and we're going to right click and execute on the install Linux Lite logo. Now this is a typical Ubuntu install screen. It's very intuitive and very self-explanatory. So in this case I've got English. Um, you can decide whether to download updates while uh, installing or install third and install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi. I went into that. That's, uh, that's the equivalent of the non-free um, install in a Manjaro distribution for example where the installer is a little bit different but this is the non-free option so we're going we're going to check both of those and continue now downloading the updates while you're installing saves time you won't have to do the update after the installation is finished now right now the uh, install program is checking my hard drive to see what options I will have for install. And since I'm in a virtual box, I'm going to select the top uh, choice. But if you're, as I said before, if you're installing Windows, if you have Windows on your hard drive, Linux Lite will pick that up and give you the option to install alongside Windows. Or you can if you've created your own petition you can click something else and select 
exactly where you'd like Linux to be installed. In this case, I'm going to erase the disk and install Linux. So it's telling me that it's going to install on SDA, which is a virtual box drive. It's going to create a swap and a root or a, and a home petition. So my root and home will be the same and it will create a swap in addition. So I'm going to click on continue and now it's going to pick up my location. You can see the similarity in the install procedure. Um, it's, it's very similar whether you're installing Manjaro, whether you're installing Ubuntu. Um, most of the distributions follow the same logic and thought process. So we're going to select our keyboard and then we're going to give the uh, personal information. So we'll put in LEN. We're going to call it LEN Virtual Box. You can change those create a password type it in twice I'm gonna select login automatically and as, as I, I've said in the past you sacrifice some security when you do that um, if you've got multiple users that are gonna be uh, using this distribution uh, I would advise using passwords to log in so I'm going to log in automatically. I'm the only one using this install. So now it's going to go through the installation and I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back with you as soon as this is completed. Okay, the installation has finished. I'm going to press restart now and we will get let it go through its restart process. <clears throat> now this should not take long and we booted right to the desktop. As, as I said you've got the uh, welcome screen lots of options within the welcome screen I would go through the help manual uh, click on online support go through learn as much as you can about this about the uh, distribution now this particular distribution is number 21 on the distro watch popularity list um, it is highly regarded as a uh, daily operating system especially if you're coming from windows and let's take a look at that uh, desktop widget that is new to uh, Linux Lite 3.2 and keep in mind this is a beta so if you do install this I would not install it as a daily driver at this moment in time I would go for their latest stable release which is the 3.0 so let's close this out and let's take a look at the instructions for their new desktop widget Okay, so in the uh, announcement it says to enable this go to menu settings session and startup and the light desktop widget is right there so let's just make sure that I did that correctly session startup auto start tick the light desktop widget log out then log in again so let's do that so I tick that little box we'll close that I'm going to close the browser I'm going to log out and then log in again <clears throat> okay and there is the widget now the up, it gives you the update status so if once you run an update it will update this 
right now the system has never been updated I've this is a little conky so I've got CPU usage memory total memory used logged in as username now if I want transparency I would have to enable compositing so let's see if we can do that we will go to uh, window manager tweaks compositor and we're going to check enable display compositing we're going to close that and you can see that the appearance has changed it has some uh, some uh, transparency to it uh, and again this is a little uh, conky be nice to have uh, the ability to resize uh, you could do that if you went into the conky configuration file but that is a subject of another video so guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the installation of Linux Lite it is a top-notch uh, Ubuntu based Linux distribution if you're coming from Windows uh, you certainly could not make a better choice um, there are a few distributions that are on my short list of best distributions coming from Windows and this is one of them so guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.